more than nine decades of serving the nation, Central Board of Irrigation and Power. What are the amazing artistic amazing methods are there? We have four vernier methods, different type of the methods are there, four prone system, three prone system, right? And type of things. Then the exposure to step voltage, exposure to touch voltage, and uh, why touch potential is more dangerous than is step potential. Because what are the things I have written, the practical challenges when you do a design, these are the points comes in the discussion. Uh, why the depth of burial of ground mat generally comes from 0.5 to 0.8 meter? Some people follow 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. What is the need of that? That also need to be checked, right? Why the high resistance material spread over the earth mat? You know, we spread our high resistivity material. What does, uh, do you know what is that? That is a gravel. Because the substation when we put that is a gravel we are putting, that is a high resistivity material. We will discuss in the coming slide what is the need of that, what is the high resistivity value when you are doing a designing of that. Area of the gravel spreading, what will be the area of the gravel spreading has to be considered during the design stage because today you are considering what the present and future will be coming later and these are the practical problems uh, you, uh, we, we will discuss about that. But what will be the resistance of the subsoil? Okay, why why does decreasing spacing between grounding conductor not help when soil resistivity is high? High because uh, nowadays if you design where wherever the soil resistivity is very high, you will be doing what you are doing. You are reducing the spacing of to five ten meter to five meter, five meter to two meter, and then another you are coming to one meter. But that is not practical possible. You you are only wasting the conductor and putting in the ground. That, that is a waste of money. That is not will be not give you a good result. Your resistivity. Our purpose is not only to maintain the resistivity because we have to see the touch potential and say uh, step potential has to be safe. And then we will discuss about uh, why axillary earth mat required for isolator. What is the need of the axillary mat, right? Earth and unearth system, what is the earth system and unearth system? Compression factor for the grounding space, space because different countries and different utilities having a different compression factor. When I am asking for the compression factor, you will see uh, with the design you will come to know 10 meter, 10 meter, 10 meter spacing or 5 meter, 20 meter. But if you see the always the potential available at the periphery of the boundary is always high. We will see in the CDMS for software, I will explain you what will be the potential, how the potential will be high at the periphery of the boundary, right? This is the reason, this is the reason we generally consider some, some utilities ask you consider 0 0.5, 1 meter spacing, then 2 meter spacing, 5 meter, then you maintain a uniformity. So what is the myth of that that we will share, discuss about that. Other point is that discussion of different case studies, high and low resistivity areas. We will discuss the case studies wherever the low resistivities are there, wherever the high studies are there. Case study discussion with the CDMA software, the high resistivity. Then equipotential point bonding because when, because we have a different different regions where how we have to make a equipotential equi winding in the substation all the potential all the potential has to be connected to the main main grid right so that is called equipotential we will discuss in the commission then after that some of the portion I have covered for the lighting system also need of lighting protection different methods are adopted passive and conventional Ridgewick method rolling sphere method IS two three one these are the methods uh, what in your country which which uh, uh, standard you are calling for uh, this uh, lighting protection. IS. IS. No, the, the, the See, uh, because generally IS23 is uh, is there. In India, we follow I uh, triple for the rolling sphere method and uh, this. And then what will be the early, early steamer method? Okay, steps to effective grounding, substation grounding. See why earthing system required? The two basic purpose served by grounding system to provide a safe environment for operating persons, to provide a low resistance path to earth such that the protective device detect and isolate fall quickly and the potential rise of the grounding system does not exceed which could damage electrical equipments or adversely affect continuously of the service. Right? These are the main principles of that. First, we are giving a low resistance path to the earth so that the fault can be dissipated immediately and to provide a safe environment for the personal. Now, why earthing system required? Severity of electrical shock to human from grounding system under abnormal electrical fault condition depends on many variables like body ground magnitudes, frequency and duration of currents, current path transferred in the human body, voltage and frequency of the circuit, weight of the body, both 
contact and internal resistance of the body. Weight of the body, if you see, I typically we have a 70 kg weight also, 50 kg weight also, because you don't know the uh, in substitution when you are doing your design, because the 50 kg, uh, when you are asking for the 50 kg design, the formula will be changed as for I typically 80, 81. And if you design for a uh, design for ultimate, the formula will be changed for the 70 kg. So you don't know ki what will be the weight of the person will be. At a, at a worst case, you design for the 50 kg only because the person who will be coming at him is having a 50 kg weight, right? So don't because some of the utilities consider a 70 kg also, but you consider as a 50 kg. You don't know who is coming, what will be the weight of the that person, but as a as a thumb rule, you consider as a 50 kg only. Okay, uh, can you, can anyone tell me what what this earthing and grounding is? It the same or different? Mm -hmm. On that day we have just uh, discussed also. What is your opinion? That is it the same? Because some because we uh, some countries say earthing, some say grounding. Is it the same or different? What is your opinion in that? Um, you grounding. are saying it is the same. And what about you, sir? I think same. Same you. Not majority as uh, Same, but depends upon the level of. Uh, uh, like for ground, for the electronic equipment we call it as a grounding, for mm. electrical we call it as uh. mm. I think, uh, I think yes, they are one and the same because grounding in US generally we call it uh, in in US country called for grounding, and we follow the we follow the European and India we call for the earthing. So both are the same thing, whether it is a earthing or ground. Uh, now, other thing is that what are the effects of uh, AC current in a human body, right? Because then, if if, if you have a one milli ampere sensation in the body, so you will be only barely noticeable, right? If you have a sensation of one to three milli ampere, the observations are the threshold, right? If you sense a three to nine milli amp, the painful sensation will be coming. And if it is a nine to twenty five milli amp muscular contraction, right? If 25 to 60 milliamps current will be, the respiratory paralysis can be happen. If the current will be 60 milliamps or more, your probably fatal fatal can be happen. And 4 amps or more heart paralysis, right? Fatal can and 50 50 and then after that you have a tissue burning. So these are the these if you can just see the what is the magnitude of the current, uh, you know, in milliamps as well as after that we are going in an ampere city and what will be the effect on the human body. Uh, this will be very important because uh, because if you have a poor earthing, if you don't have an earthing, so that will that uh, that will be creating a problem. So earthing uh, you because if it is an if it is a system is not un earth, then it is an unearth, right? Unearth means unearth. Unearth, you know, it is a Hindi word unearth. So that means you have to make a thing properly. Otherwise, it will be unearth, unearth, right? See, uh, side resistivity measurement unequal pro spacing, right? Uh, first, uh, generally, some of some of the countries use this also, but we we use generally uh, vernier uh, method, which is which is uh, this vernier method. We use uh, four prone system. So uh, that is only uh, it is a three prone system. It is a four prone. So we will discuss uh, this first, and then we'll come back to the earlier slide. With this arrangement, the probes are equally spaced, right? Let A is the distance between the two adjacent probes. A is the distance, right? This A. And then the apparent resistivity rho in terms of the length unit in which A and B are measured. So uh, now uh, this is when we have a measure and uh, uh, people come with a meter. So generally you will see you have a volt meter and meter, right? So when V is equal to I R, we have to follow the resistance. So V is equal to I R, right? So R we can uh, easily, uh, easily cover V by I. So here we have a resistivity formula as per the I triple E. Uh, 4, 4 pi A R, R is the resistance plus uh, 1 plus 2 A, A is the spacing with spacing between a voltage uh, prone and uh, current uh, prone so it is a square plus 4 b square a square plus b square so after the uh, after uh, after making a empirical formula this will be the uh, formula will be uh, mean, since length of the prone b is very small compared to length a so rho is equal to 2 pi a r so a r we measured from this meter whenever uh, you side resistivity and resistivity code will be uh, carried out so you will only find out the value of r you will not find out the value of resistivity so then you have to multiply with the 2 pi a r so 2 pi is constant right pi is 3.14 uh, 3, uh, 3 a will be the resistance because uh, a will be the a will be the distance between one prone because now generally if you see 0.5 meter first distance 
0.5, then 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 5, we can go up to 50 meter, right? So it depends upon the, uh, we, we generally, generally it is mentioned uh, what will be, what will be the distance you have to cover, it depends upon the plot plan of the uh, substation, what will be, because we have to cover all, all these things, so uh, in that particular region. So here, if you see, this is our resistance meter, right, mega, and then we are having uh, soil resistivity measurement by vernier matter. Now here we have a voltage electrode because we what we do we this is the ground level this is the ground level right we embed electrode here electrode here electrode here and the voltage will be this is the two voltage probe and this is the current probe electrodes so voltage will be here and current will be here the current will be flow from here to it and next slide will be tell you of this slide now here you have voltage is there current is there so now the volt this is your potential and the current will be flowing from outer periphery to the this periphery what will be the spacing will be there so like that way if it is a 1 meter spacing 2 meter 3 meter 5 meter 10 meter the current will be flowing and coming to the back so it will be giving you the voltage current it will be giving you the resistance so resistance we come to know r will be coming so here we learned one formula that r has already come now right so we have to multiply the for for this is the resistivity what we put in our calculations 2 by A R. So 2 by A R. R has come. No resistivity of that particular value has come. This is just uh, uh, this is just what will the component of an elect earth electrode what we are embedded in the uh, earth. Uh, this is resistance of the electrode itself and connect to it. On the top of that we connect the heat, right? And contact resistance between the electrode and the soil adjacent to it. So of, this is the contact resistance and the soil adjacent and resistance of the surrounding soil. Now, type of earthing, we have a system earthing and the protection equipment earthing. Here, our system earthing varies from place to place, but generally for the LB system, we are we are having a, as per the regulations, we generally solidly earth system due to regulation of safety of a person. LB system means we are having 450, 400, 433 kVCC. The moment we will go to industrial level, 3.3 kV, 6.6 kV, and discom level 11, 11 kV, the resist, resistance are thing and reactance are thing are, are to limit ground current. So we have NGR and something, right? If we talk about purely about the substations, 220 kV and above, it is a solidary earth system due to high cost of the insulation, cost, fault clearing. This slide we have covered on that day also for uh, these two three slides that is why I am The main earthing conductor below ground, bare conductor buried underground form the main earthwork. We are having a bare conductor which we are putting embedded on the main mat, right? Which is called coming as called as a forms the main mat. For situate earth mat is formed. For plant area, earthing network is formed interconnecting all individual plants. Earthing grids, whatever will be that, whatever whatever will be that, it has to be connected and equivalent equivalent uh, bonding potential has to be made there. Otherwise, that side if you have a separate earth mat, that side if you have a separate earth mat, there are two potential will be coming. There are two GPR will be coming. So the, the it, all all the equipment has to have a same and same potential. E, uh, equipment earthing conductor above ground, equipment below, equipment body earthing, switcher body earthing, and cable trays earthing. Types of earth electrodes, we have treated earth pit, we have driven rod earth electrodes, plate electrodes and deep bore earth electrodes. We uh, we will see in the uh, in the calculations and uh, in that particular uh, case study what will be the importance of that. But here we uh, treated, but, uh, treated earth pits where we are using generally used for transformer and generator, neutral earthing and industrial plants. Directly driven earth electrodes generally used for a switcher equipment except transformer like you have a lighting protections, peak towers, in that area we have LA's light, uh, lighting arresters, we would, uh, these are these are the driven rods. Plate electrodes where the soil resistivity is very high, we just put the plate electrodes on. Deep bore electrodes, these electrodes are generally used when, where soil resistivity is very high and the water table is available as that. We will discuss in coming slide what will be the importance of the water table. It is very important for the Nepal and uh, other regions where you are having a very high resistivity values. And this this play a very significant role uh, when you are doing your earth mat designing because uh, you have very high resistivity and uh, designer is, designer is not able to maintain the resistance, touch potential, step potential, and these these things uh, really impact a lot. Uh, we are when we are doing it. Uh, this this point you note it and we will we will discuss this because most of the projects you will see this this type of the arrangement you have to do. 
soil characteristics the soil may be homogeneous or combination of different types of soil in varying uh, proposition the moisture retention capacity of the soil seasonal variation during rainy season soil resistivity decreases that i on that day also quicker you have to get the earth resistivity test during not the uh, not in the rainy season yeah dry season right don't uh, do during rainy season because your value because your already water water is inside when you are when you are doing a test for resistivity your water is there that will not give you the exact value maybe when it dry, dry season you have to carry load step potential step potential is the difference in surface potential experienced by a person bridging a distance of 1 meter with his feet without contacting any other grounding project now this uh, this particular if you see the person you studying this is a 1 meter uh, it is like that uh, this is called step potential right this is called step potential if if i if this is my equipment and i am touching to that that is called that touch over potential right so step potential is only 1 meter space uh, 1 meter space in the substation uh, like that way so this is showing how the how the networking has been shown with because the person is aware of away from that particular fault will be happening growing that it will be coming to here that will only step gpi will be induced here if it is uh, if this is the touch potential is the potential difference between the ground and the surface potential at a time where a person is standing now person is standing this is the uh, this is the uh, you can structure which will be carrying the fault and the person is touching to that that is called touch potential and while at the same time having his hand in contact with the ground structure and one because this structure is grounded and during that time the current will be flowing from his uh, from this portion to ground because body is the low resistant part as compared to this the current will be flowing from this to this so here it is showing the fault current will be there ig will be flowing to grid like that way. uh i will show one video to you uh, for uh, for the exposure by exposure of a step potential touch potential if at the field if something has happened like that way your uh, wire has been touched to the light conductor uh, during that time uh, that particular vehicle or that is already grounded right and how uh, how you have to take the precaution or during that time 